For Magnum.media, this is Mike Olson, and it is time for a sponsored conversation with our good friends at St. Clair Hospital. And this morning, Dr. Michael Lutz will be joining us. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. You bet. Well, Memorial Day weekend safety tips is what we're going to be hitting on this morning. That's correct. Well, folks, again, on Memorial Day, uh, uh, we always honor those who have given their lives in the service of our country. But this weekend also marks the unofficial start of summer. And and, uh, we're going to be going over some safety tips for uh, folks that are going to be out and about. That sounds great. What I'd like to start with is uh, travel tips, if that's okay with you. Oh, sure. You know, I think this is probably the most important thing we're going to talk about. Memorial Day weekend is, unfortunately, sadly, a big weekend for motor vehicle accidents. It's one of the worst holiday weekends of the year. And I think probably the number one and the number two things that we can advise people to do is obviously don't drink and drive and don't ride with anyone who's been drinking. If you go to a party, you know, designate a driver. Uh, Once you've made a decision to drink, you've more or less made the decision to drink and drive because, as we all know, the first thing that alcohol impairs is our judgment. And then the number two thing would be make sure you wear your seatbelt at all times. We've seen a number of tragedies in the area in the last couple of years that probably could have been avoided if people would wear their seatbelts. Now, you're an emergency room uh, physician, aren't you? That's correct, yep. Uh, So I'm sure you see a lot of this then from time to time. We do, and it's just, we just, uh, you know, sometimes we just have to shake our head in frustration and sadness that, you know, a lot of this is avoidable. There's a lot of, you know, pain and suffering that's really avoidable if people follow these simple steps of don't drink and drive and wear your seatbelt when you're out on the roads. Other than travel, of course, uh, there's got to be a lot of safety concerns and issues that arise during holiday weekends. What are some of those? Yeah, I think the other one that uh, people think about is food safety issues. You know, this is sort of the unofficial start of the grilling season. And so one thing to think about is just to make sure that all your uh, food is cooked to the proper temperature. If you're grilling burgers, brats, whatever, uh, make sure that they're properly cooked. And the USDA has recommendations uh, on what temperature to cook those different meats to. And you know, a meat thermometer is pretty cheap insurance against that. And then I think the other thing is, is that, uh, you know, people go to uh, cookouts and picnics and that sort of thing, and food sits out. And if it sits out for too long of a time, that can cause a problem. The general recommendation is uh, two hours or less. So if that coleslaw or potato salad has been sitting out in the sun for three or four hours, we probably shouldn't eat that. That's a common cause of food poisoning. Yeah, it's going to get pretty nasty. It's not the most serious thing in the world, but mm-hmm. it will ruin your Memorial Day weekend. Oh, will it sure. Now, burns, of course, uh, always a big thing here, whether it's the sun or somebody just foolish enough to throw something on a fire. You know, you should probably clean and inspect your grill before you use it, particularly if it's been all winter. Um, just make sure that, uh, you know, all the there's not any uh, clogs or anything if it's a gas grill and make sure there's no you know, gunk built up on it. And then, you know, people do silly things like throw flammable liquids on fires. You know, lighter fluid uh, is one thing, but, you know, it's even worse when people do like gasoline or diesel fuel and that sort of thing. You know, you'd like to think you're faster than that flame is going to shoot up, but you are not faster than those flames. So just don't do it. Yeah, it's a wise move, folks, believe me. And of course, in our area here, lots of rivers, lots of lakes. People want to get out and have some fun on the water. Yes, uh, and you should. I mean, we are we are just blessed with an abundance of outdoor resources in Wisconsin. There are lots of great things that you sh- that you can do, but you know, be safe about it. You know, don't don't drink and boat. Uh, sadly, that's a cause of a number of crashes every year. Is people drink and then they get behind the wheel of their boat. Wear a life vest, and you know, uh, children need to be supervised at all times, even if they're just around water. You know, I'm always puzzled. We've uh, we see a couple cases a year of, of near drownings where kids are unsupervised uh, in, in pools uh, without a life jacket and they don't know how to swim. So, you know, put a life jacket on them or make sure you're with them at all times. Doctor, you have some great information for us there. Thank you very much. <laughs> you bet. Big thank you to Dr. Michael Lutz from the St. Clair Hospital who helps out in the ER probably way too much from time to time.